guys, it's Queen, and I'm here with another um, current household video. Um, I know I just, I like doing these. I've actually been playing The Sims a lot lately for some reason. Um, you know, I just have that, like, urge to play um, all day. So I got pretty far um, in my gameplay. And I wanted to share my current household with, hold with you guys because it's definitely changed a lot since the last time. Um, first, let's go ahead and start with uh, who we ha have here. We have Andrew Storm and Jillian Storm. All right, so we all remember Sam. Sam was the my whore, Caleb Storm's uh, son with Yasmin Domingo. He married Victoria Logan, and they had three daughters together. Two are twins, and then Jillian is the youngest. I'm playing Jillian. Jillian's lifetime wish is to become is to become is that she's pretty much a gold digger so she wants to see the she wants to see the um the ghost of her wealthy spouse and she found uh Andrew it was like Andrew I forgot what his last name was um sun or moon or something like that Andrew something but he was he was a trauma surgeon uh when they met uh yeah and he was rich and he actually had a wife so she kind of convinced him to break up with his wife and um yeah so this is where they live uh and everything like that um yeah this house is from uh generations i did not build this house it w it came with generations it's one of those houses that you can place in your neighborhood um and we're still in hidden springs i just placed it right here it was like a perfect fit or whatever. And I love this house. It's a huge family home. And that is like kind of my thing I've been doing. I've been having like families. And he should die in like a couple days. Uh, let me tell you about this bitch here. Victoria Logan. Lifetime. My, li my sim lifespan is 90 days. Why did this bitch live until she was 106? I was so upset. I even tried to kill her. I'm not lying. Like, I tried to have her repair the dishwasher um, while there was water on the floor. Didn't work. Her handiness skill was too high. I was so upset. But, like, yeah, I think actually it was 107 days. Yeah, so she stayed, like, almost 20 days older than she should have. And she wasn't even, like, that healthy. She just, I don't know. God, Victoria Logan, piss me off. Um, anyways, but this is a house that came with generations. Uh, yeah. So I'll tell you a little bit, a little bit about Jillian. Um, her favorites were automatic. I I should change those. Uh, her her traits though: couch potato, slob, flirty, excitable, and snob. Um, and Andrew, his traits are what they came with and everything. I didn't change anything about Andrew, but the way uh. But his hair and his clothes. He's unlucky, good, neat, hopeless, romantic, and frugal. Um, oh, I can tell you what his last name was. He was an automate. Andrew Song. He was like one of those sims that came into the neighbor, moved into the neighborhood, um, to fill an empty house. Um, so yeah, this is our house. It came with generations. So if you want this house, you gotta have the generations expansion pack. Um, nice little. I'm like, my voice is weird. I know, I say that every fucking video. But it's seriously, it's like, um, what time is it? It's, it's four o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I have like my little nighttime voice on, you know? <laughs> Alright, so this is their house, and I hope you guys can see this good enough. But this house is amazing. It's awesome. It's only like 160 or 70 or a hundred, I don't know, a hundred and something, uh, thousand, a hundred and something thousand, uh, some millions. So it's not like one of those huge five hundred thousand dollar homes that you have to really, really build up to live in. Um, yeah, I don't use any cheats. You guys know that. Um, in my regular gameplay. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you guys the inside of the house. We're gonna start with. Uh, let's start with. The, this side here um the living room this is what it looks like nothing too special um i furnished it myself 
Uh, some of this house I did keep exactly the same how it came. But I furnished this myself. Uh, the walls, though, are the, like, the only really thing I kept in the fireplace. But this is what that looks like. Their little, their living room. Let me put the walls up for you. It's nothing too special. It's very, very uh, cozy and contemporary. It's big, a lot of space because I'm going to throw a lot of parties. And these are their their, their, their um, high school like uh, little awards that they've gotten over the years. Um, this one is most, oh God, I don't remember. One of them was most likely to never leave the home. I think it's the green one. But yeah, those are their little awards and stuff. And then actually, here are all of the girls' prom pictures from when they went to prom. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I like to keep stuff like that. Like, seriously, I have, like, their tombstones. Uh, I have to put her... I never deleted her homework. I have to put, like, their tombstones in the graveyard because I have tombstones still in their inventory. Okay, so that is the living room. And you have your little, um, whoopsie, you have your little foyer area here, kind of, I guess, whatever. And then, or your main hallway, entrance hallway. And then the kitchen, um, I pretty much almost kept the same. I changed the color of the tile, and then the walls, everything else was, uh, kind of below. There's carrots on the counter. <laughs> everything else was, um, pretty much already there in the same color and everything. I just changed the walls and the floor. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and then the dining room, I changed, uh, I just furnished it. The walls and the floors are, were already there. But I just furnished it. I didn't really know what to do with it. So, it looks a little weird to me. I'm not a fan of it. But I, I didn't want to change too much of this house. Because I really like this house, the way it came. I really do. Um, upstairs, uh, there's two empty rooms. Uh, yeah, there's two empty rooms. I had to take away because we were running out of money and then I furnished the master bedroom and this is what that looks like it looks very lovely I actually really like this and there and there he's smelly and stuff and yeah so this is what that looks like and then uh fun best part about this is there's like a his and hers bathroom in the master bedroom I love that so much and here, like, I just pull, like, little suitcases and stuff for traveling. I, I know, it's just little acts and stuff that you can't interact with, but I think it's nice to have in the corners and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the master bedroom. Uh, let's go into the attic. I love it. There's an attic. You go through this door right here and up these stairs. And this is the attic. Um, let me go ahead and put the walls down because the rooms are pretty small. Here's a bathroom. Um, I didn't change anything in this attic at all. I just, uh, it's how it came. Here's the bathroom, and then there's a little gym area. And then here is a little, I don't know, rec room, relaxing, I don't know, just a room, a den, I guess, in the attic. Uh, only television in the house, I think. Yeah, so. My sons rarely watch TV, so I never really put televisions in. So, yeah. Um, now to my favorite part of, um, my favorite part of this house is the garage. And I know, it's weird. Why the garage? Because above the garage, there was like a little apartment. I didn't change anything, so it looks tacky because of EA. <laughs> but, um, it's like a little apartment up here, and I love it so much. I love this part. Like, I hate playing elders, so when when uh what's her name jillian here gets old i'm totally gonna like she's totally gonna have this apartment above the garage <laughs> to keep her away from everyone else um but yeah you it's so awesome here like really really awesome i love it it's seriously um i love this house i really do i wish i would have discovered it earlier you guys know i've had generations for over a year now and I'm just now getting, falling in love with this house. It shows you how much I explore expansion packs. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you have generations, definitely get this house. I highly recommend it. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's like my current household. Um, yeah, you guys want to see Jillian when she's out of the shower. Um, I feel like a peeping Tom. 
see what she's wearing. It's just some stuff that, it's an outfit that came, I believe, with Hidden Springs. This is it. It came with Hidden Springs. She's really cute. I like her a lot. And she's an in-game created sim. Um, she's going to have children with this guy. We're going to have them, I'm going to try to have them have a baby. They, it will be like the first child with a sim that I did not create. So, well, I'm playing the first child with a sim that I did not create. Um, yeah, so, yeah. And I can just show you guys their family tree here. Um, the only person that has children is Francesca because she's married to, yeah. They all have, like, the Storm last name. Yeah. Um, I know this video is so long, but there's, like, a lot to show you, kind of. I got bored, <laughs> and I created a little ship bar. I don't know if you guys can, I don't know if we can go inside of it. No, we can't go inside, but I created a little ship bar. It, seriously, the inside looks a lot better than the outside. I hate, I don't know how to design a bar on the outside, but the inside looks a little bit better. There's like a little arcade room right there, pool table. It looks better. It's so much fun. Um, but yeah, so this is my current household. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'll do them more often if you guys want me to, but, um, I figured, you know, because, um, a lot has changed since, you know, a lot has changed. I can have her cook breakfast. A lot has changed since uh, my last current household video. I figured I might as well show it to you guys. So yeah, and I I love this household. I'm love I lo I love playing it and everything like that. So yeah, I will. That's it then. I will talk to you guys all later. You will have a super fantastic, awesome, splendid, amazing day. I hope none of you are up at 4 a.m. like I am because I'm tired and I'm gonna go to bed. After I watch a little bit of Grey's Anatomy and eat some snacks. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.